What's up, YouTube? I'm Christopher Lee. This is Christopher Lee Shreds. Now, if you follow my channel at all, you know that I play with a Marshall 6100. It's a 100 watt, 310 amp. It's loud, it's godly. It has an effects loop. I'll do a review on it eventually. It's got everything you'd want from an amp. Uh, one thing it does not have, though, is reverb. And uh, coming from um, line six, world where you know I, I didn't get this Marshall until about 2006 7 right around there um, and it was mainly because I was having issues with my old school line 6 AX212 but that thing did it all and I was able to get a killer sound of that thing I mean that thing rivaled any tube amp even this one uh, that thing was a beast if you could dial it in um, but you know the pros of um, digital amps versus <laughs> tube amps aside, you know, the battle between the two. I like both. But, um, you know, all that aside, this amp needed a reverb. And if you go on Amazon, the first reverb pedal that you're going to see is probably this guy. The Flamma. <laughs> Flamma. Flamma. So, uh, Flamma Reverb FSO2. It's got seven presets, seven different reverb styles. And, uh, you know, I, I think you're going to pick one and you're just going to set it the way you like it. Maybe, you know, you'll set... I mean, I have different ones that I could see myself using maybe for one second in a song. You know, maybe like an intro or something that needs a really trippy reverb. And then you're going to basically either have it off <laughs> or you're going to have it just set to maybe room or hall or studio, but just a low level, you know. It's sort of just going to be there to fatten up your sound. So for something that... You know, if you come from a Line 6 type of world, you know, it's almost an afterthought as a reverb. Especially if you're in the metal and stuff like that. You, too much reverb will muddy up the sound. You know, for certain things, it's good. Um, but, um, yeah. I was not willing to spend the 145 on a Boss pedal for their reverb. And I didn't know any of the other brands. But this one was the first one that popped up. And I think it was $75 with a $5 off coupon. It was cheap. So it fit the bill. And um, let's hear what it sounds like, because uh, I think it works just great. I think it does uh, everything that I needed to do. And um, you know, we're going to be quick about it, because I don't want this to take 3,000 years. Um, so let's get to some tones. All right, YouTube. So I pretty much randomly chose this guitar, but it just so happens that you guys really seem to like this guitar. This is my my sound through the channel one of the Marshall. No reverb. Now let's hear what it sounds like on the first channel. Um, this is my preset. This is the way. This I believe is. Uh, I'll list all the channel names, but I think this is like studio. But right now, it's set to pretty high feedback there. But you can hear it already gives that very big sound. Your typical hall sound. Let's see here. I think that do over the top or typical studio sound, whatever it is. Now let's just go ahead and crank up the level. Here it sounds like maxed out there. Alright, that's a bit intense, but it's kind of sloppy sounding.
let's go to the next channel, channel two here. All right, that channel has a lot more of a kind of a fade out thing. This might be room or <laughs> studio, room, church hall, something in there. Should you get something cheaper? I guess that might be up to you. I just figured I'd want something that is... Let's adjust the levels here. Turn it down a little. pedals out there that are kind of cheaper than this one maybe do a little bit less but I figured it's nice to have these options Again, this is the, these aren't the presets. These are the settings that I chose. Who knows if you guys can see me? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But it's okay. This is a quick video. So yeah, these are the, just to clarify, these are just uh, the way I have it dialed in. You can save over the, each preset. I don't know how to get it fa back to factory resets um, or factory reset it back to those original presets. But this is the way that I have them set up. This one here is just a very, Sounding. Maybe this is the, 
this is the spring reverb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the last one here channel seven uh, this one here has the long shimmer effect so this is the real psychedelic one this is one of the if you're gonna buy the pedal <laughs> if you want to buy the pedal if you're like why would I buy this if my amp has a built-in reverb well if your amp has a built-in reverb I doubt the reverb that's built into it goes this long That's a long reverb. That's a long shimmer effect, so <clears throat> maybe your amp does do that. Who knows, though? But that's going to be pretty much it right there. Oh, and let's hear what it just sounds like. Uh, just for fun, we'll go to a just... That is a, a good solo tone. Be pretty loud and obnoxious, but that's pretty good. So, if you like what you see, press like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.